Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with SBR contributor Jordan Sharp, and today we're going to be talking about how the odds have been acting up for the game between the Green Bay Packers and the New Orleans Saints. How are you doing today, Jordan? I'm doing great, Dax. Thanks, man. All right, man. So how about this uh, Sunday nighter, man, with my 2-4 and four Saints going up against the 5-2 and two Packers in the Mercedes Dome? I mean, it should be a good game to watch without a doubt, but betting on it, that might be another story. Bookies at Bet, at Bet Online opened this one with the Saints being favored by one and a half points. Now, since then, that line bounced down to pick them and has gone to minus one and a half and now at minus two and a half as most books have it, with the exception of five dimes and sports interaction that have them at minus one and minus one and a half respectively. Now, statistically speaking, the Saints have the best chances to win this game, but with the way that they've actually been playing, it's something that's not really sure. You know, to put things into, pers into perspective, as I stated above, they are two and four, but they are the second best offense and the 21st worst defense overall. Now, as for Green Bay, they're five and two, but they are the 25th worst offense and the 19th worst defense so far in the league. Now, in, for this one, my eyes, uh, you know, aren't on the spread for this one. I, I really don't like where this is going. I mean, I'd actually consider a bet on the total here. I think it's a little bit high at 55 and a half, but I think it's a little bit better than putting uh, your risk on the Saints, even though they are playing at home. But what do you think, Jordan? I mean, what do you think this line might close out before kickoff? I think we're probably going to see it stick at two points. I think two and a half may just be a little bit too high. I, 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 I think you, it's obvious to you as a Saints fan, and you're, you're not that, you know, uh, you're not that confident in this game. So it probably doesn't mean that anybody else wagering on the Saints is too confident. But that on the that's on the surface of things. When you dig down a little deeper, you know, it looks like there are some Saints backers in this game. And even though it looks like that the um, even though it looks like the money is probably a little bit more split than what the consensus data is showing. It does look like the Saints are taking a majority of the money in this game, but you have to think the line will drop just a little bit because the public's going to look at this line and think all Packers all the time, which probably isn't a, you know a, a square bet either. But you know, for this game, you're probably exactly right. I mean, the total, even though it's really high and a little bit daunting, um, neither one of these defenses really gives you much confidence. And for the Packers, they've cashed the over, I believe, in their last four games in a row. The Saints have cashed the over in their last four games in October, dating back to last season. So, I mean, this is this is a high total for a reason. The books know this one's easily going to get plus 50 points. So you're right. I think it may just be one where you got to go with a, a, a bet on the uh, bet on the total instead of in, instead of the spread here. And 55 points, it's high. But uh, this game could easily, both teams could have 30 points. So, yeah. I mean, I don't think it's something that you could, you know, look at and say, oh, well, yeah, I need to immediately not bet this game at all because the total is so high, even though I like the over. You know, it's, it's it, like I said, it's, it's at 55 for a reason. The books know what they're doing here. Yeah, no doubt. And, hell, I mean, we got Aaron Rodgers, one of the best quarterbacks, and Drew Brees going head-to-head. -head. I think that uh, with, the, with the toys that they got, you know, with uh, Jordy Nelson, uh, Randall Cobb, uh, Andrew Corliss, and, uh, you know, with uh, what's his, uh, what's Bree's uh, favorite target, uh, uh, Graham, I think? You know, I think that that's going to be one of, the, one of the key points here. We're going to see a lot of passes. We're going to see a lot of touchdowns. And I'm guessing that that over is just, you know, the best pick right now because I really don't know, you know, who's going to be able to win this game. I hope it's, it, it is the Saints, but the way that Aaron Rodgers plays, you know, it could go either way. Yeah, Packers, though, giving up almost like the most rushing yards per game so far this season. So with Ingram back, I expect him to run all over them, cool. which is going to set up the pass, even though the Packers playing pretty well so far this season. And on the Saints side, I mean, obviously their secondary is where things have gone wrong for them this season. And going against Aaron Rodgers, that's not going to work so well for them. So like I said, this could be a very, very quick, fast-paced game. And uh, you know the, the the high score betting on a high score is is definitely the better way to go I think than the spread it seems like. Yep, I agree, man. It's definitely going to be a good Sunday nighter, man. All right, Jordan. As always, it's a pleasure talking football with you, and I look forward to doing it again uh, next week, man. All right, thanks, Dax. No problem. And for SBR picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.